Hi everyone, this is the legendary I'm back again with more. This time I'm gonna be doing the third part of my 2000 subscriber special. It's actually Christmas, the day of the well, day I'm recording this, so that's basically how I was able to come up with the third part of my 2000 subscriber special. And before we get started, I wanna say thank you so much for getting me to 2000 subscribers. I will upload the other two parts whenever I can. And this is just part three and we're starting off with part three because I'm already here so I might as well do it. And before I get into the unboxing, I just kinda wanted to explain why I've been able to do Beyblade videos. So this launcher stopped working. It doesn't it doesn't retract at all. And then whenever I do get this off, then, then it's basically just left idle and I can't really do anything with this. Then trying to use stream launch, then trying to use real core launchers are just the worst because they're just so inconsistent, especially with Slingshock. So I'm glad I actually got a dual, um, a dual spin launcher, but I'm going to be using this. I'm going to be using this for my launcher. So, for today's unboxing, it's going to be the B119 This is to card Tommy. That is, um, then there should be Bay Launcher Blue or L Launcher Blue. So this is basically a blue LR stream launcher. And just like the one I got during my 600 subscriber special, it is basically just another stream launcher. Oh, and here's the code for anyone that wants it because I literally just can't use these codes at all. By the way, it's upside down. But if you have the card tell me app, then you might as well, you can just scan it. I won't limit you or anything like that. Yeah, that's your free code. It only works with the Takara Tommy app, by the way. As for one, it won't work at all. And here is the puzzle instructions. You don't need those. And here's the launcher. It is, it's a blue color. Actually, blue is one of my favorite colors, if you didn't know, so I love it. And I love string launchers. So, it's going to put it on here. This is actually part... This actually is almost themed with my um, channel color, so I like this out so far. I just need to somehow get a... Um, just need to get something that's red, and then it would be my channel colors. So... That's nice. Now let's get into the other part, which is probably the main reason why most of you came here. Which is Union Achilles. So I got Union Achilles again for Christmas. I want to say thank you for 2,000 subscribers again. It's B150, it's a booster, so it doesn't come with a launcher. Hey, it's a booster. Yeah, it doesn't come with a launcher. Spider Car Tommy GT system. It shows that it has two modes. Oh, and I forgot, since it is a GT Beyblade, there is a chance of me getting a golden one. So if I have crazy luck, then I'll get a golden Union Achilles. So it's a balance type. It's part of the burst system, right spin GT system. Then there's my most favorite character, Nala Burst. Iger or Iga Akabane. Then shows you the parts. And I'll actually get through how to switch the modes over and everything. So um let's get into the unboxing. I'm actually not not gonna skip through it if I have to. 
I'll try and make sure I don't skip through it because that would be a bummer. Considering how nice this box is and how rare it is for me to actually buy a Takara Tommy Beyblade at this point. But with Takara, but with Hasbro, um, having Rise and Rise being kind of messed up, I actually might buy more of these. I might buy more to kind of tell me products if I can. And here's the code for this if you want to scan it. Again, Ella works with this to kind of tell me out, but I'm not sure if this is the right color or not. It should be. Don't think on this side is where the Bay Lager sheet is. Let's see. Is it gold? Nope, it's regular. That's okay. I, I didn't really have high hopes for it anyway. But let's get on to the Beyblade. Okay. So, here we are, Union Achilles. It basically takes the best of the other two and just combines them. So, the middle part, which is probably my favorite part of Achilles, where the where Achilles was facing to the right. That part is in the gotcha chip. Then for the you know, for the swords, has the swords facing the way that Chelsea Achilles has them, and then they are blue, like the burst stoppers. So that is kind of how we evolved, and I do enjoy it. It looks nice. It looks really nice. Seems like it would be good for upper attack too. By the way, these are plastic and not metal. Oh, I forgot to show you, there is a gimmick to it. So, it comes with Retsu. And, as far as the gimmick is concerned, there's Retsu. Looks pretty nice. It is off balance. But, the gimmick is that this is supposed to be power mode, where it has more weight and it's stronger. And this is speed mode, so you put your put the gacha chip there, then the GT chip. And this is speed mode because it's lighter and it has that has um two holes, so it's gonna move around the arena a lot more. Okay, so for the disc we have convert, and convert is actually kind of interesting because it looks the middle part looks like heavy, but it has this one arrow there that points to the outer edge of it you're supposed to pull up this okay i got it now so you have to move this yellow plastic part and then twist it and then you could then you're supposed to twist it till it clicks then when it clicks into place it should change modes so this is um unbalanced mode I'm not sure if this is unbalanced mode or balanced mode, but this should be the unbalanced mode where all the weight is on this side and over here there isn't a weight, so it's going to be unbalanced. And then you pull up the yellow piece again, and twist it till it clicks, then it should be in its balanced mode. Or it could be vice versa, I'm not really sure, but this is supposed to be a mode where it's supposed to be balanced. And that's how um, Convert is supposed to work. Here we are. We have a regular Red XM Plus. It doesn't really look like an eyeball now because it doesn't have that golden chip on it. So, looks way better. And this is basically anime accurate, so there's nothing to really complain about. But I kind of think the gold looks better. That's just me, though. So this is attack mode. Then you could... Highest mode is attack mode, then you could move it down one step, then it will be in defense mode. Then move it down one more step, then you're in stamina mode. Whoa! This- Wow! The, the clips on this are monstrous. 
Wow. Um, it seems like it's going to be kind of hard to to burst with the last part just being so hard to get past, but that's pretty nice. I I'm liking this new Achilles so far. It's low though, so it might scrape a lot. That's the only bad part, but beyond that, it looks really good. I'm impressed. Now let's go on to the test band, test bow. I'm going to be doing Union Achilles, Convert, Extend Plus, versus Ace Dragon, Sting Charge. This is basically an anime bow. By the way, Union Achilles will be in his. I think it's balance demo mode. Let's just test it out. 3, 2, 1, go, shoot! Yeah, it's in its balance demo mode. Okay, Ace Dragon wins round one with a spin finish. Round two, Union Achilles is in attack mode. Three, two, one, go, shoot! Okay, Union Achilles gets the KL in round two. So that kind of concludes it for my test battle. I'm not sure if I'll include it or not, but every single time I try to launch Union Achilles, it seems like it would just always self KO. So I kind of think that Union Achilles is a good Beyblade, but the only problem is that Extend Plus is way too low and it's just going to scrape the arena. So if you do use Union Achilles, try to use it a little bit more for attack and then attacker balance and then make sure it has more of a defensive tip that is higher just for stamina like if you want fair if you want and subscribe to become a legend in the making see you next time bye and we're all proven to be legendary